Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And today we're going to be looking at a quick hack that I did uh, for the ever dreadful dead battery cell phone syndrome. I was actually at SHOT Show last week walking around the SHOT floor and I found myself having to charge my phone on multiple occasions and that's because I basically use my phone for everything. I use my phone for pictures and video but also for making calls, sending text messages and checking social media. So obviously the battery dies down pretty quickly. Last thing I want to do is find an outlet and sit there while my cell phone charges back up. So the alternative is to uh, use either a, an external power source uh, or just have a secondary cell phone. Unfortunately, I just have the one cell phone, so the external power source was my choice of option. The key thing with that is uh, some of those external power sources can become very heavy, very bulky. Then you have a cable that runs from the phone to the battery pack, and then you have to manage that cable. So it can become a nightmare. So I found an easier way of doing it. And there's a couple of things that you need. First one is you're gonna need a case that you don't mind kind of messing up a little bit. So I found this case uh, pretty cheap for $10. The next thing you need is obviously an external power bank. And I found this one at Best Buy. It's by a company called Rev. This one is about 6,000 milliamps. So it's enough to charge my cell phone up uh, two more times. Uh, it's very thin and very easy to carry, which is the one thing that I really did like about it. It does have two ports, so you can charge two devices if you wanted to. It has a 1 amp port and a 2.4 amp port. It also has a micro USB port, which is what you use to charge the actual device. And then it has a button here where you can check uh, how much power the actual device has. So uh, it's 90% uh, right now. Now, the key thing that I really did like about it is, again, the size. And it's because it's very similar to the size of my iPhone 6 Plus here. And it's actually very similar even more in size to an iPhone 6. So you can keep that in mind if that's what you have. Uh, so what I did is I bought myself some uh, industrial Velcro and stuck it on the back of the case here. Obviously it will work with better if the case is flat. Uh, so, you know, just uh, if you find a case that's, uh, you know, completely flat, it, it'll have the Velcro adhere a lot better to the case. This one does have a little bit of ridges on it, but you know, still it adhered pretty nicely. Now this is obviously the softer sided Velcro. And the reason that I use that is because I kept this case on my phone the whole time. I didn't want to have to take it off or switch cases or anything like that. So I wanted the softer one there for when I wasn't using the power battery. And that's, uh, so when I have it in my pocket, it's not tearing up my pockets or anything like that. On the battery itself, I stuck the other side of the Velcro, as you guys can see there. This is obviously the rough side. And again, it's fine because I'm not going to be using this all the time. So, um, you know, it, it can have that rougher side on there. And it actually served a dual purpose because the rougher side allowed me to actually stick this on Velcro that I have on the inside of my backpack. So I knew exactly where the battery was at all times. I didn't have to go digging on the bottom of, a, of my backpack or anything like that. Now, obviously, as you guys can tell, the easiest thing to do is, again, just connect the, uh, you know, a power cable from the phone to the battery and you're good to go. Now, the drawback with that is that those cables are fairly long and, you know, now you have to manage that cable. So the last thing you want is this long cable dangling from your devices. So what I did is I got myself my newly reviewed uh, in-charge charger here. And this is perfect because it's short enough to where I don't have to worry about long dangling cables and it cuts the job down very easily. So this is the way it works. Once my phone needs to be recharged, I go ahead and attach the battery to the back of the phone using the Velcro, so there it is. Obviously you wanna make sure that it's low enough to where the two ports meet down here, and it also gives you enough room to still be able to use the camera on your phone. Attach the charger to the battery, and then to the phone, hit the button, and there you go. Now you're in business, your phone is charging, and again, as you guys can see, it is a very small, very sleek package, so you continue to use your phone if you wanted to. Again, the camera port is exposed, so you can take your pictures, take your video, uh, you can make your phone call, or you can just carry your phone around. It, there is a little bit of added weight, obviously because of the weight of the battery pack, but it's not so much where it's not gonna be, it's gonna be cumbersome or anything like that. Uh, again, the cables are very nice and, and neat down here. There's not a lot of cables dangling down or anything like that. So if you still wanted to stick this in your pocket or in, uh, you know, in your backpack or anything like that, you can still do so. Once you're done, all you have to do is remove the cable, remove the battery pack, and now your phone is fully charged and you're ready to go. So I found this to be very useful, again, especially walking around the SHOT Show floor. Um, I didn't have time to sit down and charge my phone or anything like that. I didn't want to have to find a, a power outlet to do that. So this uh, definitely saved me um, you know, a lot of time that I would have to spend doing that. 
uh, I can easily find this uh, useful on a regular day commute as well. So, you know, if you commute in public transportation or in your vehicle or something like that, you don't have a charger, you can easily do this. And again, uh, for the pricing, uh, you know, it's about $29 for this, about $10 for the case. Um, these retail for $12 and then the, um, the Velcro was uh, about $3. So for under $50, you get a really awesome package that will not only charge your phone, but it'll also charge other devices. And that's the, the positive on, you know, if I were to purchase a specific cell phone charging case, uh, like a Mophie or something like that, that case will only charge your cell phone, but not other devices. With this, you have the capability of doing your cell phone and other devices as well. So there it is. I wanted to share with you guys that uh, little hack that I did for my cell phone battery. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.